Okay, I'm gonna make some apple cobbler or apple dump cake. So I have a jar of um, canned apples that I home can. So I'm gonna leave the, the liquid in it and pour into this bowl. Okay, and this is just gonna be a small batch because it's just for the guys, I won't be eating it. So I pour the apples in there and then I take out a bowl and I'm not really gonna do any measuring. I am following like a cake recipe, like homemade cake, I don't buy cake. And so I'm gonna do like probably a cup of flour and the apples, I just did a pint of canned apples. So I'm gonna do a cup of flour here. And then probably, like I said, since I'm not eating it, it can be really sweet. I'm gonna do a half a cup of sugar into the flour mix. And then I'm going to put some baking powder in it. I'm trying to think, let's see, the, I'm kind of having the recipe, not really. So it says two and a half, so I'm gonna do a teaspoon of, of, uh, okay, of baking powder. And then I'm just gonna throw in some seasonings. I'm gonna, oops, into the bowl here. Just sprinkle in that. Well, I don't know how much that was. I just, that was quite a bit. I didn't mean to do that much. And some salt. Then I'm gonna mix that all together. Try to get it mixed really good. And then I'm gonna throw this into the sun oven. Earlier I made some meatballs. They came out all right. They came out like this. And so I'm gonna be doing like a spaghetti bake in the sun oven. So I thought I'll make the dessert first. And then want to make sure this is mixed really good. Like I said, you can use a cake mix, um, but if you're doing a whole cake mix, you're going to want to do like two like quart jars roughly of your fruit. Like I said, this time I'm using apples, um, but I'm just throwing this together for the guys. Um, and then you use a nine by 13 pan or maybe a little bit smaller. This one's a really small pan. So I'm just gonna dump this on top. And so what happens is halfway through, you stir, halfway, halfway in the baking process, you stir it and then that flour mix absorbs um, absorbs all that liquid that's in there. So I'm going to take some butter. This is probably a fourth of a stick. And I'm going to slice it and put it across the top. And what I usually do is I put enough where I go across the whole top. So if I need to use some more butter, I, pull, I already went ahead and pulled out another stick. So I just slice them thin. So I am going to get another stick. So maybe a half of a stick, just a little, a little bit less. Like I said, I don't measure, I just I slice and I put it on. So then it looks like this. Then I'm gonna take a little 
little bit of cinnamon and sprinkle it across the top. Like that. And then we'll go outside real quick. I wish I could turn the camera around, but we're gonna go outside real quick and put this in the sun oven. So, it's a, not always do I try to utilize cooking a lot of meals in one day in the sun oven, but today I thought, well, why not? I was gonna do the meatball spaghetti bake Got the meatballs and the, got the boiled eggs done. I can show the results of that later. Anyway, okay. So here's the sun oven. It's at 300 degrees still. So I'm gonna open it up. And I'm going to put the, the cobbler in. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to get foil to cover it. So I'll go do that. I won't show that. So I'm going to seal this back up. I'm going to check. Oh, I need to move it because the sunlight is not aligned. So I need to move it. It looks like it needs to be tilted up like that. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm going to tilt it up. Bear with me. I'll set it down because I need my other hand. I'm gonna go ahead and go up two notches. So I went up and let's check. Ah, perfect. But I'm gonna put it on the edge of that circle because it's gonna have to cook in here for like an hour. So I'm gonna go get the foil. I'm gonna cover it, let it cook for like 30 minutes or so. Then I'll come back and I'll stir it and then take the foil off and then cook it again for another, say, 30 minutes. And then it should be done. And then I'll be putting in the, the meatball bake and I will show you that process.